Hello everybody, welcome back to the Metal Scrapping channel. Uh, if you've seen my previous scrapping video, you will remember uh, this bucket full of copper. Uh, today I will melt this copper and weigh the ingots up, so we know uh, how much clean copper there was in the copper motor. So there was in, uh, inside these rings. I had a little bit of trouble uh, getting it out. Um, if you've seen my last melting video, if you don't have watched it, you can watch it as uh, unwanted mixing of metals. I had my furnace uh, messed up. Well, I've cleaned that now. You can see a little bit of um, insulation plaster from the uh, side walls. It's starting to crack up. So, but I've cleaned it. There's no more metal in, on the, at the bottom. But my crucible for copper. I was thinking I was uh, melting copper. Turned out to be uh, some piece of brass inside. Uh, this stuff inside the crucible, I cannot get it out. It's stuck to the crucible. So first I will heat up the crucible and get this stuff to melt again. And uh, try to uh, pour this into an ingot shape. It's not much. It's maybe uh, 50 grams of metal. I don't know. We will shall see. So first I clean out the uh, crucible. And after that will be... Putting the uh, clean copper, well clean, there's a lot of glue and wires attached to it, but we will put that in the crucible and start off melting the copper. So this uh, took me 21 minutes before uh, all the remaining copper, it looks like copper this time, has been uh, melted. So it took a while, I uh, turned it up to uh, 1200 degrees Celsius and I think this is real copper, we have to check that. So let's get it out, go my channel locks. And I will now let uh, the crucible cool a little bit down, so you can fill it up with the uh, copper. And we'll start off with melting the other copper. So it's not a real ingot. It's 
fill us a little bit of the yellow brass stuff, I think. Oh, oopsie. Not near my tripod. The tripod will melt. This is this channel locks are not my best channel locks. Right, let's uh, let's close this. Come on. Oh. These channel locks are just annoying. Right, here we go. Off the quenching of the leftovers. Alright, let's see what we have. I hope we can say this is copper. Yeah, I think we can call this copper. It's a little bit, a little bit of brass still left. I put it with the under ingots and I let the uh, crucible cool down so I can fill it with the uh, clean copper. So we have, uh, this was stuck at the crucible. Well, we can uh, use this for other projects maybe. So let the crucible cool down, fill it with copper and we're off mounting again. See you soon. So here we are, I have the uh, crucible uh, cooled off a little bit. So we're going to fill it up with the uh, copper from the copper engine and uh, see how much uh, stuff we have. So let's fill it up first. Alright, so I think uh, we have uh, a start here, just the top layer, because <laughs> it's a lot of loose wire. I will try to uh, get this a little bit more compact. Let's fire it up and yeah, just fill it along the way while melting.
So, uh, <laughs> the camera a little bit in the way, well pouring. I think this, with the new uh, tongs, went a little bit smoother. Maybe I'm going to make a pouring tong. But this went okay, I guess. Let's quench them. But first, let's get them out. So this is all the copper. Oh yeah, got some plastic stuff under it. That's stupid. I had to level it out because it was not horizontal. We have one real mini bar. A bar with a hole in it. And a real big bar. Right, time for quenching. Still red hot this one. First start out with a small one. Now the medium sized one. Alright, here I am back again with the quenching. You don't know, uh, don't know, don't want to know what my phone said. The temperature is too high to film. Here we go. Right, so I hope this will be filmed correctly, not the. Uh, in a horizontal manner, not in the vertical uh, aspect. We'll see. Not a big one. Right, so far for the quenching. I guess the water is a little bit hot. But now we'll get some uh, cooler water. Yeah, the big one still uh, does it each time, making the water real hot. So I'll be back with some water. So I'm uh, back with uh, cold water. Now let's get the uh, first small one. So this is a small one. What's the uh, remainder? Some pure copper. All right. Now the medium sized. Oh, this bar came out really good. Quite happy with this. Nice copper bars. Now the big one. Ah, this is so nice. A really thick bar. So uh, there's a lot of blackness on it from the uh, mold, I guess. So uh, let's weigh them up and afterwards clean them. So we are ready to measure them up, to weigh them. Uh, remember the copper I had in the uh, box there's still some tiny bits left and some tiny stuff has just uh, been everywhere on the ground under the working bench so uh, we have a uh, loss of a couple of grams but we weighed this box up and it came out on 1717 grams so I said just remember 1700 so what will be the finished project product that is 97 grams for the small one, 591 grams in total with the medium bar, now the big one, 1549 grams, yep, 
so we have a loss of 165 grams so uh, or or even 166 to be uh, precise so we have burnt all the the, the glue and uh, the small uh, wires attached to it and that's in the draw spot and there's still some uh, copper beads in it won't touch them I guess they're still hot so you can see some copper beads so that would make up for some grams so yeah quite happy with this there's a lot of dust you can hear it there's some copper beads I will get those out and throw the rest in the waste bin so this was it uh, yeah going to show you how uh, they are uh, when they are clean I guess or I guess not because my electric tool is not here I'm busy at home so uh, oh, yeah well just let's clean them up I'm going to get my tool see you in a minute Alright, so we have cleaned them up. This is the big one. Here. Some beautiful ripples. Got some holes on the uh, bottom side. It's a bright bar. The medium one. Also some good ripples. A big hole here but the rest of the bottom is very smooth so this uh, makes some uh, great stampings and then the small bar these were the leftovers so we're going to uh, weigh them and stamp them Yeah, I will stamp these, uh, st stamp these off camera. So that was it. They're going to uh, get to the rest of the collection. And I guess next week will be another melding. And maybe I will try to sand cast something. So this was it. I hope you liked this video. If so, give this video a thumbs up. 
leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe to see more melting videos, dumpster diving and scrapping. Here the, uh, what was in the crucible. Won't bother with uh, cleaning this. We'll go with the rest of the, I don't know what kind of metal it is anymore. So maybe it's time for brass or aluminium. Let me know in the comments what uh, kind of metal you want uh, to uh, see to be melted. Brass, copper, aluminium or maybe mix up some. So copper and aluminium, make gold. Just let me know in the comments uh, what you uh, like to see and maybe we'll uh, mix those metals or melt those metals. So that was it. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye bye.